Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. Welcome if you're a brand new subscriber and viewer to the channel. As always, the best way to support the channel is by clicking the Element Games affiliate link over here and save yourself 15 to 25% off of your Warhammer goodness. And a huge thank you to everybody that does that already and supports this channel and all of the daily content. Without further ado, let's jump on over to the community website right here um, where there's been a number of uh, articles this week. So we just jump back in time to the 8th of uh, May. Way, 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 way back here about here. So at the start of this week I um, released the Warhammer Fest 2021 review uh, where I reviewed all of the six days of the Warhammer Fest. In summary of that event I had wished that they could have done better, showcased more new things and condensed the fest into a couple of days rather than the whole week. But moving on, uh, the next day on the Sunday they announced that in person there are some Warhammer events coming um, straight off the back of that Warhammer Fest. You've got Adepticon as well. It's interesting because there's uh, you know been developments in, in uh, the pandemic and things. So we'll see if, if that um, changes these things. But um, it's nice that uh, we've got these uh, events to look forward to. Also on the same, same day, there was the Sunday preview, the Lords of Undeath Return. Uh, so now we've got, uh, you know, part of the release of the soul blight grave lords um, and it all kicks off with the uh, battle tome we're going to have a look at these pre-orders uh, in a moment so you've got the battle tome the uh, battle tome uh, limited edition you've got the death rattle skeleton warriors you've got the uh, dead walker zombies uh, you've got some bats and the blood knight cavalry along with the vampire lord and um the mother of nightmares uh you can also have a a normal vampire lord instead of this character but i'm not a big fan of this this model um you've got the cards you've got some boring dice adeptus titanicus though um you have a release of the bellicosa volcano cannon black library we've got git slayer by darius hinks and undeath ascendant along with a dynasty of monsters by david annandale white dwarf so you've got this uh white dwarf i love the uh the you know, subscriber edition of the uh, cover. I kind of wish, though, that they didn't have a completely different cover. I, I wish that they had the same, but just, you know, a full wraparound cover, uh, front and back. But it is what it is, because I think sometimes the, the regular White Dwarf uh, shop uh, magazines, uh, the, the covers are better. But again, it's art, it's personal uh, choice. Um, then we've got the uh, paint, brushes uh, these new STC paint brushes they're not sable they're synthetic they're supposed to be firmer and more springy bristles um, I'll probably be picking a, up a couple of these and um, I won't be pre-ordering any but um, I do plan on but I do plan on heading down to my uh, local games workshop store in Norwich um, to uh, grab a couple and uh, give you a demo of uh, just how good or how bad they are I'm sure they're not terrible but we'll see and that was it. And we'll uh, have a look at uh, those pre-orders um, a little bit later on. On the Monday, they went through uh, nine of the biggest reveals from Warhammer Fest Online. Are there even nine? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is like a, a bit of a summary. I mean, they, they even call this battle box a, a reveal, um, even though we didn't see a, a single new miniature there. But uh, there we go. Um, yeah. The Warband was, was fantastic. I love the crab. I think everybody loves the crab. The next book in the Siege of Terror, Warhawk. I guess it's coming out this year. That'll be fantastic. I'm stomping my way through uh, Mortis at the moment and really enjoying it. I, I thought Saturnine was incredible. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it's great to see the next um, uh, book in this series, book six. There's only two more after this one. Then uh, there's an article talking about the five lineages uh, of uh, Soul Black Grave Lords. There they are. You've got Endless Legions, Deathless Minions, Locus of uh, Shish. So you've got uh, the Legion of Night, the Trap Layers, Legion of Blood, Castellai Dynasty, Avengori Dynasty, Vikos Dynasty, and that's it. We have four things you need to know about the next edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Uh, you've got this High Lord of Terror prefers. Uh, the battlefield to the boardroom. If we just have a look, a little look at her, um, 
yeah, I, I'm still not a big fan of the non-helmet. You, you can put a helmet on her, that's fine. Um, but her stats are, yeah, incredible. You know, she's got a very decent movement speed. All of those stats there are very strong. Um, you've got... Uh, you're halving uh, the damage against her. She's got an invulnerable save. Um, and also she can ignore mortal wounds on her 4 plus as well. Her weapon's quite nice. And um, the lunging strike uh, particularly will give her a strength 8, AP minus 3, damage 3. Um, and uh, when you get wounds of 6s, um, then you get immortal wounds as well. Very, very nice. The missile launcher is decent. You know, 36 inch range. It's, you know, strength 8. We'll get to see more of her rules in the, the uh, refreshed um, codex uh, later on. Got the rumor engine. Looks like some kind of dead animal pelt thing uh, on a shoulder. Interesting. You've got classic Warhammer art. It comes to life in the John Blanche inspired conversions. Uh, I always find those interesting. You've got uh, the underhive informant. She's rich, refined, and incredibly deadly. I actually like this model a fair bit. Um, it, it screams Necromunda to me, and uh, I guess you could use her as a some kind of Inquisitor or something. I don't know. Um, I just really like it. I like the veil. I like the, the headdress. I like the servitors, the sword, the lad's pistol weapon, the bionic arm, the leg. The leg. Um, you know, and the, what she's wearing is just... Um, yeah, it's very... Uh, I say grim dark. The, the colours are quite vibrant, but it's yeah, what you'd expect uh, for for sort of necromunda. Find out why blood knights are units or black vampires can't live without the regiment standard. Know your shadows. It could save your life. <laughs> uh, you've got dark imperium. God blight sees Gilliman uh, and Mortarian clash at last, uh, and they got to, with the author to spill the beans. So this is dark imperium. God blight. This is Guy Haley. Lovely bits of artwork there. Some we've seen before, but yeah, fantastic. So if you're interested about um, 40k in its its state at the moment, uh, probably worth checking that book out. Uh, five reasons to pledge your allegiance to Manfred von Karstein. Or Karstein. Really like this model. I, I wasn't really paying attention, but you can order it here if you just click there. And uh, it's definitely more on my uh, radar now. Um, than, than before but uh, yeah I like it Death Lords look you could also turn him into the other uh, mini that they talk about Middle Earth you got an army that makes your skin crawl creepy crawly armies there celebrate UK Warhammer stores reopening with exclusive merch and models. So, yep, the, the stores uh, will be opening. Uh, so that will be next weekend on Saturday, the 22nd of May and, and uh, all the way up to the 30th of May. And you can pick up your, uh, you know, store exclusive models there and a lot of art print books, dice bags, you know, you name it. Pretty cool. Um, I'll definitely be heading over to my local store, Norwich, uh, at some point in the day and uh, finally be able to um, touch base with a few of them there and have a good good old conversation. You've got the uh, Queen Neferata instead of Manfred. So same uh, model. Uh, if you just click there, same price. £48 though, quite quite pricey. Almost £50 for a, a mini, but uh, lovely looking mini. Is she a uh, two sprue? Kind of get the impression that she's two sprue. But yeah, both of them, you can't really go wrong. Uh, they look fantastic. And um, we've got some... Uh, gaunts uh, popping out of there as well and then you've got uh, the warband for um, bone reapers uh, with this dude with a massive uh, axe uh, they look very fun very cool I'd be interested to see what color plastic they are though I really would um, we'll have to see won't we because they all were uh, all the warbands are in the different plastics different color plastics giant bear beats up demons in total war warhammer 3's new gameplay trailer if you haven't watched this already i strongly recommend you do if you've got any interest in warhammer at all uh, it looks fantastic can't wait to get my teeth stuck into this um i will try and get it and i'll try and do a uh sort of live stream and um some games and things uh for you um but again it, it does revolve around the support for the channel 
uh, it really really does um, so the more support you can uh, provide the more we can see this as a as a reality um, Forge World. So on May the 14th, uh, which was only yesterday, this uh, Nemesis Volcano Cannon was up for pre-order uh, on the Forge World website. It's an odd one because it comes in 10 pieces and, um, well, we'll have a look at it in, in a moment to, to try and dissect uh, those 10 pieces. But uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure whether you get the, the turntable, but we'll see. I mean, it says replace the Quake Cannon with an even more devastating weapon. Hmm, truth be told, the, the Quake Cannon is huge range compared to this um they they really did nerf the uh, volcano cannons anyway um the horus heresy wow was not expecting this um we've got some uh there's samus obviously uh, and dawn rebel dawn um but uh yeah was not expecting this with uh two imperial fist uh praetors it's tartarus terminate drama they had access to both uh, for me though i just uh, have this image of cataphracty uh, armor. Maybe they'll bring out the Hoskals at some point um, because, uh, you know, Fortwell do uh, produce um, some Imperial Fists in the Cataphracty um, armor with the shields as well. So um, I don't know. I, I just would like to see some Hoskals um, uh, for them. Uh, poses are lovely. I like the power swords, I like the shields. Um, yeah, uh, really, really cool. Um, it makes me want to get these so if you would like to see these two models on the channel you know what you need to do like the video subscribe uh, and support it that way broken realms fiction to cast along shadow so as usual uh, they've got one of these download and um, pdf uh, sort of short stories uh, which is always quite fun find out why vampires are nagashi's most resentful servants and why he puts up with them and then frankenstein is here and he's more than the sum of his assorted uh, parts so you've got this frankenstein model um looks really really cool and uh, a little bit of a rule there nice that they're still supporting blood bowl um you know from the get-go it looked like they've got a lot of teams um that they're that they've made now and that they're they're creating i'm sure there's more to come and that's it for the news so yeah a, a lot to digest uh, there everything from everything from adeptus titanicus to new horus heresy minis um a big focus on uh, total war warhammer and um age of sigma with the vampires there may well be a focus on uh, the hired gun uh, video game um, because that that's due to come out in, in two or three weeks and um, so we might get an article focusing on that that would be cool if they had some kind of interview but uh, but we'll see Okay, so let's jump on over to Forge World right here. And uh, straight away on the front page, you've got Unleash the Volcano's Power. So that is the main pre-order this weekend or, you know, yesterday. It's worth noting because I don't think a lot of people know this, but Forge World pre-orders um, are, are up on the Friday um, instead of the Saturday. Sometimes you'll get the new product on the Friday the week after, but sometimes you also get it on the Saturday. Anyway, if we click on pre-orders, this is it. Uh, it's still up for pre-order, so you can still pick it up. Um, though, I don't know about you guys, but there was an issue with the, the photos um, when they first put this up uh, yesterday. But it looks like it's since been resolved. You've got a 360 view. You've got some close-up views. Um, now, this is what I mean, look. So if we enhance... Da, 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 da. So I think these are in two parts, look, because there's a, there's a nice gap there. They may even be in three. But if they're in two, that's two, four five six uh, i think the armor is is one so seven the barrel is one eight this cable is one nine and this end bit is is one ten so if that is the case if that is ten parts you are missing um the turntable the side mounts and the front armor piece so yeah i can't stress this enough if you haven't built your nemesis um uh, quake cannon already uh, please leave that aside so that you can, um, you know, use those parts to, to build this. I, it's a bit of a letdown that they didn't make the, those extra four pieces uh, in, in Resin 2. I do feel sorry for you guys that, that ha have, uh, you know, built your, your maniples and you built your, your nemesis straight away. Um, if you haven't glued it too tightly, I guess maybe you could break the, the Quake Cannon off. Um, so leave the ar front armor plate and the turntable together, but just uh, prise off the uh, mounts um, with the ca uh, Quake Cannon already attached and then um, sort of peel off both of those mounts. And then at least you can use the mounts and the turntable with this new weapon 
it's not the end of the world. I'm sure you can do it. Um, but uh, I just put that out there that uh, it contains 10 parts and uh, I've already just added up these parts here um, and I don't think that you get the turntable. They don't even show the turntable. Forge World are usually pretty good um, in showing all the pieces, um, you know, obviously with the exception of like a big Titan and things, but they, they normally show these pieces um, for these like weapon upgrades, um, all of them. So that is a bit of a letdown because they have... Um, promoted that you can just use this um with your with your current nemesis and uh i was expecting an extra turntable so a bit of a disappointment but it's yours for 16 pounds i have pre-ordered mine it will come next week and uh we'll go into that a bit further um still looking forward to the volkite weapons i think i had a comment about um you know what's happening with those they did announce them um a while back uh in one of the articles and then they took that article down and they rescheduled the release date to june so for the big volkite cannon for the warlord for the uh the carapace one for the reaver and the um arm uh volkite weapon for the warhound they're all coming out uh but they'll be in june um the only one i'm really interested in is the warhound and maybe the reaver but we'll see uh unfortunately without um being able to look at these weapons sort of in person uh like at an event or something it's hard for me to it's hard for any of us to to get a kind of like a, a full picture of what they truly look like anyway that's everything from uh forge world just the uh, volcano cannon let's flap on over to um games workshop's web store and have a look at all of these juicy vampires and here we are on games workshop's web store so there's a big, big advert here for uh, the Soblight Gravelords um, right here on this banner. Uh, they've got uh, an advert for the uh, brushes as well and the new White Dwarf, um, which you will receive uh, next weekend. I'm a subscriber, so hopefully I'll receive mine during this week and uh, we'll have a little look at that. So if we click on new and exclusive and go for pre-orders and we go high to low and we view all... So this is what we've got. You can have the entire Legion of the Undead collection. So it's just all of uh, this week's pre-orders in terms of Soblight Gravelords for £262. If we click on there, um, it's no longer available straight away. These uh, get snapped up very, very quickly. Um, you know, one click, that's the whole pre-orders and you get a, a signed um, artwork. I think it's kind of like a five i want to say um it says exclusive artwork you only get there's only 100 of them and it's signed so um but yeah you get the 128 page hardback book you get the um war scrolls the dice lauka vey mother of nightmares death rattle skeletons dead walker zombies fell bats blood knights and the vampire lord um so yeah that's already gone uh, mainly because of the art print i believe we just go back and uh, have a look so a couple of these uh releases were up for pre-order last weekend such as necromunder hive war and the sister battle collection you've got the limited edition soul blight grave lords um, book it's limited to 700 there's still some available and it's only just really turned 10 o'clock um so if you're after uh, this book then um this might be uh your your opportunity to get one of these right here is a Dynasty of Monsters collection, so you get the Battle Tome and the novel by David Annandale. The Blood Knights are up for £39.50. I think we can all agree that that's a huge saving over the £60 that they were being sold at um, for the previous uh, minis. I think they were in fine cast. And then before that in metal. It looks like a three sprue job. One, two, and three. There they are. They look awesome. I really like the armor. I like the steeds. Um, they look incredible, like the big mace and the uh, helmets and the shields and the, the dragon. You know, they, uh, they sort of show the banner bearer there, but uh, that's a better better view of it. They look really, really cool. I love the armor. I think I'll probably paint mine in that color as well. Um, so that's the Blood Knights. Uh, this is the model that I'm not... I just can't get my head around. Um, Lau Cave. I like Lauka Vi, however you want to call it, pronounce it. Um, this is her next to another mini. £39.50. I suppose the price is alright. Um, 
you know, it's a dual kit. I think it's going to be a, I want to say a two sprue. Um, yeah, so different armor panels and things. But there you go, dual kit. Um, you can either build a Lauka Ve or a Vangorian Lord, um, which is right here. So they're the two options for that one kit. You've got the Death Rattle Skeletons. These are unfortunately monopose. I don't think they're easy to build, but you can just tell that these are that there are twenty here, um, but there are ten uh, that uh, share exactly the same uh, legs as their twin brethren. Um, so right here, you can see that these two are exactly the same. They've got the same heads. Um, they might have different shields, but then the, the one's armed with a sword and one's armed with a spear. You're not going to notice them that much. And if you were lucky enough to get your hands on Curse City, that's going to bump up your Skeleton Horde to 30, which looks uh, very nice on the battlefield. Um, so they could be yours for £36.50. I would have preferred them to be like 30 uh, at most. Um, Deadwalker Zombies, wow, again, 20 Zombies. Would have preferred these at 30 or even a little bit less. But uh, I prefer these Zombies to the ones in the Curse City. The Curse City had all these graves and things um, nailed through them to kind of, I say, stop them moving about at night. But as you can see, it just hasn't worked whatsoever. Um, and uh, I like some of the Zombies just with like the scythe or with a tree, but with a root growing out of them. Or, you know, that they've got, you know, one's holding a hat arm i think one's found a sword this one with the hatchet um buried into its head and this one with the the pitchfork they look really cool and i do prefer them to the the curse city set um so that's 20 zombies there the fell bats what a controversial price point 31 pound 50 for three bats it looks to be just two sprues as well so you, you, you're talking about almost 16 pound per sprue there this is probably one of the worst um offerings of uh, of this week um, they are just, yeah, I, I mean, they're all right. And I prefer that they've used the, the, you know, parts of the base to, to give that impression that they're flying rather than the stands. I think that would have broken them up big time, but, uh, yeah, probably the weakest out of, out of the bunch. Um, other pre-orders, you've got the Soul Blight Grave Lords Battle Tome for £25. Um, I looked at the number of pages and there's 128 pages. It's a treasure trove of background information of the realm of Sheish. Um, you've got 40 war scrolls there. I can't wait to get my hands on them and give you the reviews of uh, most of the uh, Brave Lord models. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks quite decent. Um, you've got the, the contents here, which I think they've upped the resolution a little bit. I still would have preferred better resolution. Common Games Workshop, you can do this. You can see the 128 pages. You can kind of see all of the units in there. Um, but I really, really wish that they... Uh, that they would um, have this at a, a nicer resolution to give you all of the the contents because, in my opinion, that's that's you know worthless really at the moment in that resolution. I, I would have preferred it, uh, you know, a bit bit more crisper. Uh, just going up here to the um, limited edition uh, for the fifty uh, that's no longer available. Um, it's a shame because they usually show you what what else you get with this limited edition. Like they show you the um, the page edges and the uh, uh, bookmark and and things like that it does say here soft touch cover cloth spine guild gilt edged pages and a ribbon marker and um, but um yeah i think they dropped the ball with the pictures on this one because they haven't shown that and it would have been nice to see i, I hope that the ribbon marker is red but it may well just be black like uh, like the others um moving down uh you've also got the dice uninspired dice i'm not a fan at all and um, they're just black with red and a little symbol for the six um they're yeah really boring um where, where are all the excellent age of sigma dices from uh from times uh before like the ogre dice and the squig dice and you know uh, even the lumineth dice that only came out last year um i would have preferred you know just something more i don't know with blood um in, in the indents you know like a red blood for the blood cod um that that would be great uh but something better than that. You've got the Vampire Lord, £18.50. Um, she looks all right. Uh, you can only build one version of her. She's just one sprue for £18.50. 
Um, it's got a skull on there, a bit of a scenic base. The armor looks fantastic. I like the shield. And yeah, controversial, but I do like the bats, um, you know, uh, coming off of her, her strands of hair there and the mace. Um, I, I like that model. You've got a dynasty of monsters, hardback, 18 pounds by uh, David Annandale. Um, it doesn't say how many pages there are there, which absolutely sucks. However, through the power of the internet, I have established that uh, this book will set you back 305 pages. It's quite decent. Um, the artwork really illustrates, no pun intended, the, uh, you know, the disconnect between these two creatures, miniatures. Yeah, um, in Future Games Workshop, stick with one or the other. Either stick with the, the Vampire Lord in her armour um, in a human form or stick with the this vampire bat type creature with its head. I think people have already uh, modified this creature to have some kind of head there instead. And uh, those those images look great. Just search it on Instagram or something and you'll, you'll most likely find that. Last few uh, items for pre-order is Git Slayer in hardback by Darius Hinks. It's another novel that's about 300 pages. It's 296 pages and it's in hardback. You also have the War Scroll cards for the Soul Black Grave Lord, £17.50 now for a pack of cards. Um, you've got the e-publication, and then you've got the Undeath Ascendant Vampire Counts Omnibus, £12.99. It's an omnibus, so you can expect that it will be a huge number of pages, and it is in fact 848 pages. Uh, you can get it cheaper from Element for about £10. Um, so, yeah, if you're after a big, thick... Um, vampire counts omnibus to go with your uh, soul blight grave lords then that is the book to go for you notice there cl werner who recently wrote the cursed city uh, novel that has been extremely uh, popular and finally you've just got all of the brushes the sdc uh, brushes and uh, the white dwarf magazine interesting price points for these the prices are all over the shop um I'm not sure why I'd like to speak to Games Workshop and find out why there's a difference between like 15 pence and 10 pence and so on. Uh, would have been nice if they were like a uniform price or at least the small brushes were one price, uh, the medium brushes were another. Um, but yeah, they are all over the shop and there isn't actually an option to buy them all at once in like a, 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 bit, of a bit of a discount, like a set. That would have been fantastic, but no. Um, so I'm going to have a little look at those when I go into the store. Might pick up one or two and, and give you my um, open, honest opinion on them. Um, it's interesting that the most expensive one there is what six pounds, six pounds seventy-five. So that's almost seven pounds. It is a large shade brush, though. Um, still, you know, almost three times cheaper than a um, Windsor and Newton. But I'll be interested to find out just how well they they hold up and how springy and firm those bristles are. Anyway, we've come to the end of all of the pre-orders uh, for this weekend. A lot of pre-orders. I thought that Games Workshop would have slowed and just released, I don't know, like the Blood Knights and, and the Battle Tome. They haven't. They're still releasing as many items as they possibly can. Um, it's going to be interesting next weekend. I think we will have uh, the rest of the Soul Blight releases. So we've still got the uh, the Wolves. We've got the, the Lycan character. Uh, we've got the wolf with the um, baron type character. We'll probably have some kind of start collecting kind of set, maybe. And then we've also got the Primaris heavy intercessors and the flayed ones. I wonder if they'll bundle both of those in the release next week or whether we'll have a break from Soul Blight Grave Lords. It will be interesting if they just push Grave Lords out to one side um, for a week and uh, release the Primaris. But I've got a strong feeling that they will have the Primaris up for pre-order next weekend so that they can be in your hands for the 29th because they did say that uh, the Intercessors would be out in May and there's only one more week left. So maybe we'll have a combined Age of Sigma and um, 40k pre-order release uh, for, for next weekend. We'll find out tomorrow uh, in the Sunday preview, of course, at, at about 6 o'clock uh, GMT. What do you guys think of all these pre-orders? Uh, what do you think of the Soul Black Grave Lords? Uh, do you think they've um, done a great job in refreshing the range? and uh, Or do you think they've dropped the ball in a few places? Uh, and what did you pre-order today out of the Adeptus Titanicus and all of the products that are up for pre-order today? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.